Welcome to the Draft Utopia NFL Digest NFC East edition. We leave where we picked off from yesterday's edition. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys in the first of two NFC East games. First quarter falls through to Brent Selleck. Next possession, Romo hands off to Murray. Only backup on the Cowboys offense was center Ryan Cook. Tyron Smith has struggled from adapting to right tackle to left tackle. Doug Free's been abysmal at right tackle after being solid at left tackle in 2011. Free's been constantly giving up sacks and false start penalties. Nothing seems to be working for the Dallas Cowboys. Foles would throw to Selleck again. He would finish the day with seven receptions, 73 receiving yards at tight end for the Philadelphia Eagles. Foles made the right throws in the first quarter. Bryce Brown with a rushing touchdown on a 10-yard run. Eagles left tackle King Dunlap and left guard Evan Mathis paved the way for Brown on the play. 7-0 Eagles. Romo with poor reaction the first quarter. Under pressure, his playmakers bailed him out big time on some throws early in this game. Second quarter, Cowboys get a field goal, make it 7-3. Cowboys have a 15-play, 59-yard drive that lasts 7 minutes and 4 seconds. Bryce Brown makes it 14-3 Eagles. Once again, the run blocking's in place by the Eagles' offensive line. Then you have DeMarco Murray with a one-yard touchdown run. Murray back in the lineup. The Cowboys are performing a lot better. 11-play, 75-yard drive that takes up 5 minutes and 26 seconds to be precise. Eagles get a field goal to make it 17-10 at halftime. Third quarter, Romo, the 23-yard pass to Des Bryant to tie the game. The touchdown allows Romo to pass Troy Aikman on the all-time touchdown list. Cowboys with a 7-play, 80-yard drive that takes 3 minutes, 42 seconds. Riley Cooper responds with the Eagles touchdown, giving the Eagles a 24-17 lead after three quarters. Fourth quarter, 27-yard touchdown pass from Tony Romo to Miles Austin. 12-play, 80-yard drive. It takes up 6 minutes and 45 seconds. Dallas ties the game at 24. Eagles get a field goal to make it 27-24. Romo to Des Bryant once again. Cowboys gain the lead for the first time all game. They use a 7-play, 86-yard drive that takes up 4 minutes and 16 seconds. Cowboys lead 31-27. Morris Claiborne recovers a 50-yard fumble for a touchdown, 38-27. Cowboys would go on to win 38-33. Eagles miss the 2-point conversion. The bottom line is Dallas wins this game. Romo's playmakers step up. Witten, six receptions, 108 receiving yards. Des Bryant with 98 receiving yards, two receiving touchdowns after Witten sets the tempo at tight end with those 108 receiving yards. Miles Austin, he gets a receiving touchdown that ties it at 24 in the fourth quarter. Romo struggled early despite the fact that his playmakers bail him out on a lot of throws. DeMarco Murray caught four passes for 19 yards. Backup receivers like SMU rookie Cole Beasley, 2011 draft pick Dwayne Harris, and Kevin Ogletree all stepped up with one reception each in addition to the starters making plays. Backup tight end John Phillips, a player that was mentioned in the Cowboys starting lineup at the beginning of the game, also had one reception. We can credit Romo for having an outstanding game, 22 for 27. Three touchdowns, no picks. At the end of the day, the Cowboys receivers deserve just as much if not more credit than Tony Romo for stepping up and helping him move the chains. Second NFC East duel featured the New York Giants and the Washington Redskins. Giants leads 16-10 after three quarters. Fourth quarter, Robert Griffin III hands off the ball to Alfred Morris. First down, Robert Griffin III to Pierre Garçon. Garçon made a catch that set up a field goal to tie the game in the second quarter at 10. Now Garcon helps the Redskins gain a 17-16 lead over the Giants. Redskins win thanks to RG3 leadership as the Redskins now sit at 6-6. Robert Griffin III, Alfred Morris, the rookie running back. Redskins establish a lot of tempo in this football game with balance on offense. Garcon steps up. The New York Giants, Eli made the right throws. He had variety on his throws, top spin, accuracy. He put enough throwing power and arm strength into the football. His problem was the offensive line. Offensive line was banged up with injuries. They couldn't buy him any time in the pocket, and that really limited what the Giants could do offensively. Victor Cruz, Hakeem Nix, Martellus Bennett had a minimum of five receptions each 
At the end of the day, Eli wasn't getting enough time in the pocket, and that led to the Washington Redskins' victory. Redskins are now 6-6 six and six along with the Dallas Cowboys. The Giants are 7-5, and five, so this really makes for an interesting NFC East race with four games left. This is Chris Ransom with your Draft Utopia NFL Digest.